thing they don't tell you about working in Congress is that if you do what you're supposed to do, you're working all the time. Okay, guys, I'm just getting out of work. That's my office behind me. Um, the thing they don't tell you about working in Congress is that if you do what you're supposed to do, you're working all the time, which means that you have no time to like set up your life. So I sl spent weeks sleeping on an air mattress and I don't own a chair. So I'm gonna try to do that. Is it okay to still have children? We need a universal sense of urgency. And so it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are gonna be very difficult. And people are trying to like introduce watered down proposals that are frankly going to kill us. The way I feel about it is first and foremost, we have to empower and center uh, the people of Venezuela. This is really an issue of a failure of democracy. And when we see a failure of democracy, like for example, in our country, our planet is going to be a disaster if we don't turn this ship around. And so it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are gonna be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question, you know, should, is it okay to still have children? And I mean, not just financially, because people are graduating with 20, 30, $100,000 worth of student loan debt. And so they can't even afford to have kids in a house, but also just this basic moral question, like what do we do? And, and even if you don't have kids, there are still children here in the world and we have a moral obligation to them uh, to leave a better world for them. And this idea that if we just, you know, I've been working on this for X amount of years, um, it's like not good enough. Like we need a universal sense of urgency and people are trying to like introduce watered down proposals that are frankly going to kill us. A lack of urgency is going to kill us. It doesn't matter if you agree that climate change is an important issue. It, at, at this point, it doesn't matter. If you, if you believe climate change is a problem, that's not even the issue. It's, it's, the issue is how urgently you feel we need to fix it. And if you do not have a sense of urgency to try to turn this around in 10 years, how is that different than a person who's just, um, the way I feel about it is first and foremost, we have to empower and center uh, the people of Venezuela and the will of the public. That is um, the number one issue that we have to center here because, um, really the issues of our time you know people want to make this about like an ideology like oh this is about socialism this is about capitalism this is about this that and the other and it doesn't what people don't understand is that this is really kind of an issue of authoritarianism versus democracy in many different ways and um just like we don't point to countries like Zimbabwe or, or other nations, other failed states that use capitalist frameworks and say, oh look, because this nation has hyperinflation and is, is a failed state, um, this tells you the failures of capitalism. It's a, first of all, uh, this is really an issue of a failure of democracy. And first, and I would say that people wanna say my ideology is this, or my ideology is that, what I believe in above all else is, is a true democracy, is democracy as a form of government and democracy in the workplace, democracy in our economy. Um, that, is, that is one of my number one guiding principles. And, um, and when we see a failure of democracy, like for example, in our country where corporations and the rich 